following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Let's apply the entertainment presents Princess and Reached Extravaganza, episode 69, Princess Bubbles! To Animation Land. As you can see, Shotaro has just sent my script for Chapter 14, the Humes of Sentai Go Ranger, back to me, along with his illustrations. The next chapter will be the first to feature Sun Halo Mask. I can hardly wait for that. Also, say, what's this? Hmm, the first annual princess contest for ages 19 and under. Yeah, Miyako would make a great candidate for it. Come in! Rinka-chan! Oh, hi, Miyako. Wow, you seem excited. Well, I've just entered Animation Land's first annual princess contest! Oh, I just read a flyer for that! And I made you my escort! Well, that makes perfect sense since we're dating and all. The contest is being held at the Bijou Theater! Come on, let's go! Alright! And you know something? You would probably be the best candidate for the tiara! Oh, Bridget Chan, that's so sweet! Okay, eight contestants competing, of which Miyako was one, so... Oh my god! Lola's competing too?! You gotta be kidding me! She is obviously the worst candidate for the tiara! God, I hope Miyako wins! There's no telling what Lola will do to us if she wins! Wait, what's going on over there? Oh hey, Momoko, Kaoru, I just found out that Lola Lao is competing for the tiara. Wow, she definitely doesn't deserve it! I'm kinda desperate for Miyako to win. Don't worry, I doubt the judges will even like her. Anyway, we're going back to our seats. Nice talking to you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual princess contest! where eight contestants aged 19 and under will compete for a beautiful, shiny tiara! Let's just let our contestants do their acts before our judges decide. Now, let's begin! First up, Tomoko Mizuno! Wow, she's surprisingly decent! Wow, rock hard moves and dazzling stones! What a spectacular way to start our contest! Give it up for Tomoko Mizuno! Our next contestant, a fan favorite, the irresistibly cute Powerpuff, Miyako Godokuji! Well, whoa, whoa Miyako-chan! Whoa, whoa! The ocean waters and a beautiful ballet! No wonder she has an entire fan club! Oh, oh! G give it up for a graceful Miyako Godokuji! We move on to number three, Mary Jane Azalea! Oh my god. Wow, electric techno and attractive shoes. We can assume the shoes are why she's called Mary Jane. Give it up for Mary Jane Azalea! Number four is Omiya Kujigoto! Wow, she's like an Edo style counterpart to Miyako. A nature loving beauty with the smell of fresh green grass. Give it up for Omiya Kujigoto! We're halfway there now. Please welcome number five, Cindy Spreads. Wow, that's awesome. A poisonous gothic girl, in contrast to the previous four contestants. Give it up for rockin' hard Cindy Spreads. We move on to number six, Lola Loud. Oh God, here she comes. Wow, mesmerizing and entrancing. The overpowered psychics. Give it up for Lola Loud. Little girls are the devil. Next up is number seven, Cher Flattery. Wow, somebody's been influenced. A fiery inferno all over her. I think everyone just got burned. Give it up for Cher Flattery. And now it's time for our final contestant, Patty Johnson. Okay, it's almost time. What's this? She's shaking the ground. What spectacular moves. Give it up for Patty Johnson. 
Alright folks, our time has come. Our judges will now decide our first princess. Alright Miyako, time to go on stage again. Wow, every contestant is here. With each one having her own escort. Okay, the judges have spoken. The winner is... Miyako Konokuji! Oh my god! You did it! You did- Oh! Oh, no time to be aroused! The photographers are here! Now! Such are the judges! I'm the rightful owner of the tiara! Oh, no, no, no. Let this be a lesson to parents. Don't spoil your kids! Oh, I know, right? Congrats, Miyako! Somehow you truly deserve the tiara! Oh, thank you, Lori! Wow! Miyako just kissed Quentin on the cheek! She makes a perfect princess! Well, thank you all for coming! We'll see you again next year! Well, thanks a lot for coming to the contest. It sure was stressful about who was going to win, but now we can put that aside. Anyway, stop by the next time Commander-in-Chief Golden Mask attacks. Alright, see you later. This episode was the original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2018. It's a production of Quetzal Quano Entertainment. Bye-bye! This is NET, the public television network.